Actually, can you turn on the audio? It has audio, and just to give you an idea how Billy edited it uh, 25 years ago, because it's funny. I stand wherever you want me to stand. I even stand behind the truth. Be achten Sie auf das bereits bekannte plötzliche Verschwinden der beiden Aufwärts. But I have to see it too to explain it, so I have to... Billy laughed it. <laughs> The good thing about the soundtrack is, because of the soundtrack, he could find out it was not edited or altered, it is still the original film. Another film from the same location, a little bit later, and you see the object here, and it goes, it's moving now from the hovering position, from left to right. The film originally is much longer, I'll just show you one sequence, one example, and you see how it moved, and now compared with another film. Dieser Film wurde aufgenommen am 28. März 1976. 28 of March 1976, Billy says. Oberhalb Fischenthal im Döstal, Kanton Zürich. And now it's hovering again. And from the movement, how it really goes from the standing position to the movement back, they could analyze, the Japanese television people could analyze, it can never be a model because the model would have some after movement, after going left and right. It wouldn't stand directly on the spot, but you know, make some pendulum movement, and it doesn't. And now I'll show you a film taken in Mexico. Oh, I'll show you later, okay. This is first another detailed shot of the, of the same craft on the very same day. No, no, the Mexico wing, thing will come later, one moment. This is still Billy Meyer on the um, 29th, in this case, 29th of March 1976. Auf einer weiteren Filmaufnahme vom 28. 28, okay. When they got it wrong in this book, I copied this from your book. Jedoch bereits in den Abendstunden kurz vor Sonnenuntergang. In the evening hours, just before sunset. Bei Filmteil können Sie einige wenige Einzelheiten des Schiffes erkennen. And you see some details of the ship, but from Lake Willisdale. Like a slight rotating movement, rotational movement, and you have these objects here. And you see the slight rotation. Here you have another detailed shot. This is now all edited. If the craft stops, it is just from me stopping it on the on the projector on the um, on the recorder. But you see this beautiful <laughs> original Samyaza beam ship type two with the reflection here, and you can really see the shape. And this is of course some dirt from the film. And here we do it frame by frame. This is also frame by frame. So you'll see more details of this craft. Beautiful reflection right here. And keep the shape in mind because in a moment we have pictures from Mexico and the USA which um, are very very similar. Note the movement. Note but this, the top, is going left and right and left and right, which would not happen if it would be a model on the string. This picture was taken in June of 1992 near Puebla, Mexico, the same type of craft. 
Puebla, Mexico, also 1992, the same craft, maybe even photographed at the very same day. These are pictures taken in Mexico by independent witnesses which have nothing to do with the Billy Meyer case. They never met Billy. They have nothing to do with Figo or whatever. Same type of craft. This is shot in the USA in Colorado. Why was it Joe Cloa? Wendell? Uh, yes. Yeah, this is by Joe Cloa. You find it in one of the calendars of Wendell. Uh, this is USA, Colorado. Another picture, Los Angeles, California, also published by Wendell, but it has nothing to do with him, of course. He got these pictures from eyewitnesses. This is a beautiful picture taken on the 3rd of March, 75, from Billy, and you have the Semyaza beam ship, and you have this small thing. This is about four meters in diameter. And we have the same type of craft photographed in Mexico, for example, and I'll show you the pictures in a moment. This is a picture of Mexico. You see the balls, the shape. It is not the Adamski craft. It's too flat. This is taken in Nuevo Leon, Mexico, in 1994, a picture taken by Pepe Martinez, and um, you see the same type of craft photographed by a totally independent witness. This is the picture from April of 1998, uh, taken by Edith, a lady from Zurich. It's the same type of craft Billy photographed in 1975. The picture was taken in the area of Lago Maggiore, and here you compare the shape and you have reflection here on the left side too. So on both craft you have a reflection on the left side. But I'll show you now is the film of the wedding cake shape. And in a moment it's a little bit out of focus. Can we focus it a little bit more? Okay, but anyway you see it. And you see the big large tree. This is a kind of, of pine tree. They call it weather pine tree. Um, they are freestanding pine trees, and we analyzed it very carefully, the light reflections, everything. Here, um, the, the lower side compared to the upper side. This is a big, tall tree, and the object really is not somewhere in between, but the object really is, part one, thank you, and the object really is hovering in front of it in 300 meters distance. So this is the kind of ship they told you on the, on the um, Fox Network show, but it is a trash can lid. I think it's too big for it, unless they have sve seven meters wide trash cans in Switzerland, and I can ask you, Methuselah, if they have it, but I don't think so. My investigation didn't uncover such a big trash can. They're very clean people, so they need a lot of uh, very big trash cans, but... <laughs> now, can we have the audio, because Billy is speaking on it, possible with uh, computers to check up pictures, uh -huh. negatives, mm -hmm. and everything, films. Of course, that's possible, but you see, you can't go over all the world to tell each human being. Mm -hmm. This happened now on that way, that's now the truth. You can get the analysis from a computer, mm -hmm. but two of the people not will believe. Right, right. So if, if they see the ship by themselves, mm -hmm. they get the picture, then for them it is true. But right. if somebody else get the picture, they say that's a fake only. Right. right. 